here I just want to point out a couple of really helpful charts. Potentially, you do not need to use all of them, but this is just a good starting place for you. So here's our home screen. We're going to go over to Analyze, and it is going to open up nothing for you. So media charts, excerpt charts, and qualitative charts. I'm just going to point out a couple of these. Here we have our different transcripts. And you can just kind of scan through and you can see that this one is coded 100%, meaning they talked about a lot of our codes and we pretty much coded the entire document. Versus this guy, we either, they didn't talk about a whole lot, so we didn't have a lot to code, um, or they rambled or they talked in different manners that didn't fit our codes, or it could just be that we aren't done coding and we haven't got to this document yet. So this, is, this can be used in a couple of different ways. Code application, this is one that I really like because here I can see in this faculty member, this is our transcript, this is our person that we interviewed, and we can just scan and see that they had no emerging codes, but we had four different occasions where we coded approaches to teaching. Keep in mind that this could be four codes across four people. It could be four codes and they're all completely different codes but in four instances, we coded this. They talked a lot about skills and knowledge, and we have nothing on inclusive programming, so we can just kind of scan through here. We can also look across this inclusive programming, and we can scan down and see that none of our interviewees talked about anything that we could code for inclusive programming. Same for personal development, personnel development. So this is a really helpful one. This gives similar information, but it's just a slightly different way of looking at it. Here we can look for the gaps. So if it's red, that means we had at least one code, kind of a one zero. And if it is not coded at all, like this one, we have absolutely no codes in there, then that's where we can say, hmm, that was a problem. Either the code is a problem or it's a huge gap in that either our questions didn't ask that well enough or our people just weren't able to answer that in a way that we could code. Then we can scroll down. This is pretty much the same one, but I like this user excerpts. So here we have four different people who were in this program, in this project, and we can see that this person has coded a lot. This person has coded quite a bit and this person is not coding quite as much as the rest of us. This person hasn't coded at all. So this just kind of gives you an idea of who's been coding and how much they are coding in comparison to everyone else. Again, it could be that this person right here just hasn't finished their codes, whereas these two have had extra time and have done more work within it. So we can look at this throughout the process of coding with multiple coders. We can also look at this um, at the final and see how that works out. I also like these qualitative charts down here. There's a couple that are really fun and a lot of these like the code application are repeated. The co-occurrence, this could be really interesting depending on your study. But here we're looking at if community partners was coded, how many times was approaches to teaching coded? That's not a lot, but we can kind of scroll for the big ones and we can see that skills, knowledge, and disposition, if that one is coded, then we also seem to be coding faculty instructional strategies. Not surprising, but we get kind of an idea. This is not a full-blown correlation, so there's no p-values here. But we can kind of see that there is some um, connection between those, that if we're coding one, we seem to be coding the other. We're seeing them in the same documents. The 3D cloud. I'm not really sure what this does, but it's really pretty to watch. You can also move it around and look at things. Um, so yeah, that's pretty. The code cloud. I know that you can do this in other programs, but this one does it here too. We can go to best. We can look at all kinds of different things. So we can see one of our main codes is this knowledge, skills, and disposition. Um, some of the other ones are very, very small because we just didn't code them as much. So this is also just another visual if you like that. You can download all of these right up here with this export button, and then it gives you different options.